Hello there guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you on how to uh, combine and split up numbers and this is probably going to be a multi-part series so uh, like I won't show absolutely everything there is in a single video so in this video we're going to be uh, combining but it's based off of Acer 7 and 1 variable you know a trick he did for dreams he uploaded a tutorial on how to uh, take various numbers and combine them into a single number and then split them back out and we want to do that in Python. We want to do that in a programming language. And this is the way I figured it out. And this is how we translate it into Python code. So one of the first things, believe it or not, is regular expressions. We're going to need regular expressions. Because we're going to extract many numbers from a single string. And one of the first things we're going to do is create our uh, function. We'll call it combine. And two parameters we're going to create is base and sequence. And the reason why we're doing the sequence is, like I said, we're going to use it for the regular expression. It's going to be a sequence of numbers in a single string. We're going to look for the patterns with the expression. So we'll create that. And it's much simpler than you realize, so don't worry. So now we're going to create our expression. We're going to call it digits. And we're going to do read.find. And we're going to specify the pattern we're going to look for. We're going to put it backwards slash D plus. Because this will look for digits. Backwards lowercase d will look for any digits. And this will look for any indefinite amount that we specify. So we can put as, as so this plus will allow us to put in as many as we want. And how big the number too. Like we can put a big number, a single digit number, multi-digit numbers. So be it. So we're going to put in sequence. Oops. And we're gonna type our make. We're gonna type our for loop, and we're gonna do two variables for the for loop because we're gonna be enumerating through the digits. So put in digits colon, and we'll print this out just to test it to make sure it works. So now we have our. Uh, hold on, let me uh let me call the function. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. So we'll put in one, two, three. And now we have our one, two, three. And we know that it's printing it out, but we want to actually add the numbers up. And there's some extra things we're gonna need too. So what we uh, what we wanna do is that we're gonna count through the numbers backwards. And there's a reason for this, because we're gonna be plugging it into an equation, and if it if we don't do it backwards, I've tested it with and without the, you know, the brackets right here, as I'm going to show you in a sec. So negative one, this is how we iterate through the digits backwards, all the the sequence right here. This, this, and this. And we're going to plug it into an exponent, basically. And we're going to type in our combined plus equals. And we're going to type in the int function, put our i in it. Because when we retrieve all the digits that we look for in the pattern, it's going to be a string. And we can't do math with strings. We have to convert it into an integer. So you want to multiply it by the base. Then raise it to the nth power. Raise it to the power of n. Because we're going to be cycling through all the possible digit places with this exponent right here. With the enumerate function. And now we're going to print it out. We're going to try uh, combined. And now when we run it, we get 1, 2, 3. Now we know we're getting the correct number. And we're going to return it, of course. That's the proper way of doing it. So we can store it in a variable outside the function that we're defining. So we'll do result equals combine. We'll do base 10 for simplicity to show you that this works. So we'll do 2, 2, 0, 220. We'll do that as a number. And I forgot to print it. <laughs> you have to, if you're returning something, you have to print it outside. You can't do it from within. We have to print it out. So, 220. Now we got a result that we want, and we can even add to it too. So, 220 plus 5, 225, or you could do multiply by 2, and we'll get, we'll get 440. So, 440, and now we know our thing is working. But now, what if we were to test it like base 2? We can do binary numbers as well. So 111, one, one, that will give you 7. 
Oops, <laughs> I uh, messed up the result. So that will give you seven right here. And if we, uh, you know, we can test it with other numbers, one, 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 and that will give you 15. And I've tested this with uh, traditional methods in Python too, so I know I'm getting the correct number. You can do eight ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, five, five. So we're getting the correct number for the 8-bit number. And, you know, this works with any base. For example, hexadecimal. We could try 15, 15. And that should give you 255. Or we could do 214. 254. Or 214 here. 239. Could do fifteen zero or fifteen zero two forty. But now let's test it with any base. This works with any base number. So we'll do two twenty, so we'll do one zero and two twenty, we'll do one hundred. Or we could do uh two four forty or or we could do 219, 219, you know, so on and so forth. We're getting the correct number. And, you know, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to split it up. And, uh, and I just wanted to show you how to combine it, you know, convert what Acert was doing. And do it in Python code. So, anyways, thanks for watching.